hello everyone welcome back so today we will see how we can get one year free domain and how we can point that domain to AWS EC2 instance DNS so let's see how we can get free domain for one year for our uh, personal website or we can use for the blog's purpose this domain contains top level domains like uh, .dk, .ml, .ga, .cf and .gqetc so after one year we can renew that domain or we can create the new domain using the different domain ID so let's see how we can create the one year free domain so we need to use the freedom.com website to create the free domain let's go to there and search for your new domain so I'm using the web Okay, so these are the couple of domains we can use for zero dollar USD pads. It is a free and below are the paid domains. So we don't need to use the paid domain, we can use this. First one I would like to take web take panda.tk. Click on get it now. Click on check out. Okay, so I see here here it has a 12 month, 12 month as a fee. And click on continue. Here we will need the email address. So we can use the temporary email address or the permanent email address. I will use here my temporary email address. Let's generate it uh, using the throw away email dot com. So please to show your email. So it will generate temporary email address which we can use. This email ID will be available for 48 hours and then it will be expired. So do whatever the verification you want to do within 48 hours. Okay, so it has been verified now. Uh, there are some details we need to fill up. So let's.
should be redirected to the dashboard of this command.com where you can verify your new domain name. This is my dashboard and inside service you can check your domain your newly created domain. So this is our newly created domain with techpanda.tk and the status is active. So now we have created new domain and we followed this processes. So this is my blog, you can go through that one by one step if you miss anything. And now it's time to uh, find the free domain with our head of the CC domain DNS. So I'm assuming here you have installed the Linux EC2 instance with the LAMP setup. If not, you can go through these links. And we will use the Route 53 to create the DNS for new domain. So let's go to that. Well, this is the old one I have created. So let's uh, go to Route 53 and then. Uh, Click on create host session. Let's create new station. Then the domain name here. So now it generates the DNS records for our domain and we need to add this DNS record into our uh, this domain of phenom.com name server setting. And before that uh, we will add some uh, A records. So let's create that in the route 53. Let's add it. provide the public IP of our SQL instance let's copy it here super public IP you can copy this from uh, EC2 instance let's paste here ok let's add another telephone So we need to name field as blank and we need to select alliance is and then as target we need to select our domain name with blank click on alliance is select as target so we will type it in the new domain so this is our new domain Okay, so now we have added two eighty parts here, and then it's time to add NS record on the Chrome website. Now go to Chrome website and uh, management tool and server setting.
so let's log in first into the Freenome dashboard okay so click on manage domain data management tool and click on servers use custom so add that domain name servers copy from here and paste them so let's add them now So let's click on change name server button. Let's see that that what we need to do. So I think that's it from our side. Uh, whatever we have did the setting, now we have to verify our domain which is working on. Let's see. That. So let's try to uh, load our website. Currently showing uh, this site kind of the result uh, as uh, DNS configuration takes some time to uh, point the IP address with the domain name. So let's wait for a uh, few minutes and uh, we'll recheck this website. As we can see, we can access my website using my public IP. So this is my website. I have configured some of the index page and text image. I'm staying. So this uh, should access the same website should access via this domain name. So once it is uh, mapped with the DNS, then it should work. So let's wait for two minutes. Okay. So now we can see uh, we can access our website via the domain name. So I added here www.tech.mandap.tech.tk. So now I can access my website through this domain. Okay friends, so that's it for this session and in next session I will show you how we can get a free uh, third party SSL for 6 months and uh, how we can apply that on this institute server. So yeah, let's see you in next session. If you have any doubts and comment uh, and questions, so you can put your comments in the comment box here on the box thank you